I got stuck on the thing. I'm once again down to no painkillers, so that's bad. Pain! I'll kill you, you lousy freaking cop! Okay, well, I'm going to switch to ease. Whack sucker. Oh my days, I don't know what's going on right now. Where we go? Right. I was just kind of shooting blindly and hoping for the best there. Oh, that guy got me. I hope there was a checkpoint between here and there. If I have to start from the stairwell, man. I'm probably going to pare this down a little bit. Died so much here. Yeah. I don't know how I took damage that time. Go ahead and throw the grenade. Shotgun, bad news. No, I didn't know how to do that. Oh, I think this is the uh, moron here. What do you got for me? Agnidi ran out of steam in a dead-end alley with steam boiling out of the sewer grates like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us. It was shaped down <laughs> wow. time. What a thing to say. That was awesome. Where's Lupino? Screw you! Bad start, Vinny. Ah! Police brutality! I rate pretty high on that. You, 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 you can't just hurt me in cold blood? Uh, just keep telling yourself that. <gasps> Listen good, candy man. I'm not going to be anybody's fall guy. I want to know where your boss is hiding. There was no glory in this. I hadn't asked for this crap. Trouble had come to me in big dark swarms. The good and the just were like gold dust in the city. I had no illusions. I was not one of them. I was no hero. Just me and the gun and the crook. My options had decreased to a singular course. I'll tell you, just don't hurt me no more. Lupino's at Ragnarok, the nightclub. Book me. Right? Take no me rock. home into the freaking jail. Just don't hurt me. Your rights will be read at your funeral. <laughs> A Den of Drugs. Chapter 8. Hmm. <laughs> 
I was thinking Ragnarok chapter was seven. Lupino's private nightclub, a den of drugs built into an old theater. I knew what waited inside. V had junkies ready to explode in random acts of senseless violence, and Lupino's goon squad, the worst stone cold killers this side of hell. <laughs> Ragnarok I like him a lot. was as inviting as a headache, flickering and flashing to a machine gun beat. The belly of the nightclub was a gothic theme park that began with bondage games and led to the nasty stuff from there. Oh no. A I mean, I'll probably think the aesthetics kind of killer cool. Through the heart, like father, like son, just like Jack Lupino. Oh man, I'm still like teetering on the edge of death here. Oh. This uh. This song is kind of cool. Not gonna lie. I'm into it. I normally don't like techno y stuff. But it's neat. I think I'll play for a little bit more. I probably won't finish like the chapter. Maybe get a couple of like weird parts. However, they divide that up down. What do I need to do? If I keep, if I don't get a heal soon, I might call it quits for now and then come back in a few days. Hopefully, I don't know. I keep telling myself that I'm gonna come home and record this like more consistently. But then I keep taking naps after work. Ragnarok. Oh, I don't want to listen to this. But then I keep getting enticed to take a nap after I'll work. Bullet through the heart, like father, like son, just like Jack Lupino. And well, that tends to supersede my desire for a consistent upload schedule. <laughs> oh, shot in the face. Okay, I should not use the uh, shotgun for this. Subtle with its dark messages, a cop killer bullet through the heart, like father, like son, just like Jack Lupino. Given the setting, I was surprised to find that somebody had been passing time reading. The paperback was entitled, The Age of Murder and Storm. The blurb on the back mentioned Norse mythos and Ragnarok, the end of a Viking world with a terrible winter that covered the earth in ice, when vile crimes were rampant and all humanity lost. I could see how somebody impressionable might get it into their head that we were at the end of time. I was also beginning to see what the nightclub and its owner were all about. <laughs> I almost run myself out of ammo with my Berettas. I had like full ammo forever. I did. Okay, I'll switch to the pump action for now. I wish they made different sounds, because this dude's clearly dressed up in like a trench coat and stuff. Like, very fitting for the game with all the slow motion dodges and stuff, like in the Matrix, actually. 
Oh, that's a cool detail. I didn't. Oh, oh, that's because was that because I was sidestepping? I don't know exactly. It looked like Max was limping for a second, which I thought was neat, even though it means I'm almost dead. Because it doesn't look like I was really going slower. It was just that. Way. It is cool how they look kind of different, but also they don't really seem all that different. They just seem like like if they had like Both different the voices and stuff. Been piled on the table. What do we got here on the bookshelf? The room was stacked with light reading, such as Necronomicon, Witchcraft, and Paradise Lost. Old exotic titles like Malleus Malficarum and De Umbrarum Rainy Novum Portis. Books with pentagrams on their covers, all dealing with the occult and the infernal. Lying between stacks of horror videos and a couple of Ouija boards. The only thing I could take seriously was the thought of Lupino taking it seriously. He had been spending a lot of time getting intimate with the guy downstairs. <laughs> A broken heart with a pentagram. Oh man, it's like some doom stuff going on in here. Ragnarok. What with Dino and all, I wouldn't say anything to his face. He might not. Who knows what he'd do? Yeah, but somebody's gotta go in there. It's too freaky. All the screaming. I mean, it's been three days now. Look at me. Hell no, I, I ain't got no death wish. Come on, I'm just saying it. Gives me the creeps, especially now. Ow. I got iced there. What would Dino and all? I wouldn't say anything to his face. Oh, that guy got taken out by the crossfire. I thought he did like a dodge. That was interesting. Why did it give me a shot like that? That was crazy. Ow, oh, and then I died anyway. Alright, well, considering I'm, like, right at the beginning of this part, I think this is a good place for me to stop since I've been going for a little over an hour. I think I'll still get, like, three videos out of this once I edit the things that are unnecessary down. I love how he even paused it just in with the slow pan. It seems like Max has this little smirk on his face. Um... But yeah, this has still been cool. I enjoy Max Payne as a character quite a bit. The action is very gratifying. Simple enough, but you know, the slow motion dodges are a decent enough twist to make it more fun than just hiding behind cover and popping out when necessary. So I still have been enjoying this. I'll be interested to play more of it. Thank you for watching. Until next time, Follow me to Apex.